Hello, in today's video I want to show you how you can use Figma MCP and build clickable prototypes with Cursor. I chose this complex component because it has a lot of different stuff, it also uses different scripts, but don't worry, even if you are just beginning with AI, you will quickly learn how to do it. But let's start at the beginning. Before we dive in, I think it would be cool that you also know what is MCP. So imagine that MCP is like USB stick that you plug into your application or your design system and it helps you get the data from all these different tools. And in this case we will connect Figma MCP and we will get information from Figma from our designs directly to our AI tool and in this case, in this video, we will use cursor. So let's imagine that we want to make a prototype out of this component. In Figma we would need a lot of time, you know. So to create every button, to create every continent in different states and also having a logic if I click on base that these numbers would change if I click on enabled region, this number should change, let alone the top and total numbers. So it would take us a lot of time to even come close, but it would be even harder to make this search bar usable or at least somehow similar. So we will use cursor and make this component interactive, but first step is that we download cursor and connect Figma MCP. So let's do this now. Figma provides a detailed documentation how you can set up MCP server. The most important thing is that you check for updates in your Figma so you have the latest version. And the second most important thing is that in your file which you want to share with cursor, you go to preferences and you enable dev mode MCP server. So this will allow you that you can just copy the link from your file and put it to cursor. So as I mentioned, you have a lot of options. You can use VC code, cursor, windsurf and cloud co code. But in this case, we will use cursor, which means that now we have to go to cursor and copy this code so we can add this MCP server. OK, so once you download cursor, we need to add new MCP server. We click here and we copy the code from the Figma documentation page. I already did this before, that's why you can see it, but if you didn't, you have to paste it here and save the file and then you're done. But now let's go and try to do the component I showed you before. Let's check if preferences are okay. When I go to preferences, I can see that enable dev mode MCP server is on. So I can safely say that I can copy the link to this, to this design. I would like to say that give a lot of context. When you copy the link to this design, instruct cursor or any other tool that you will use with more details. It's also cool, I mean, it's also recommended that you use auto layout, Figma variables or design tokens, that all the styles are defined, that you have components because cursor will know exactly how things are connected and it will be way easier to do the prototype. Okay, so the first step is that we copy the selection. So you can go here, copy, paste and just copy link to selection. And now let's go to cursor to link our Figma design and start building the code. Okay, so once you're in cursor, you immediately see add context. And of course, this means that we will paste our Figma link. And if the files already exist, we can just click here and choose existing files. But let's start from the beginning and we will paste the link to our Figma design. On the bottom so here, you can see the agent. So you can choose whatever agent you want. Oh, free mini, Gemini and cloud, cloud for Sonnet. And I think this one is the best for building. Okay, so now we will instruct cursor what we are trying to achieve. Please make HTML and CSS file for this component. Make it clickable and interactive. So it can be something simple just to test what is going on. Okay, and we will press enter. And if you set up MCP correct, it will start generating. Otherwise you will see some errors. But let's wait and see what 
will happen and how much time it will need to do it. Okay, as you can see, cursor is planning next move. The user has shared a Figma design link and wants me to create HTML and CSS files for that component, making it clickable and interactive. Okay, now it's trying to extract the data. As you can see on the right side, it's called MCP tool to get the image and again MCP tool to get the code. Perfect, now I can see the design, design clearly. Also, a quick note here, if you're trying to get the designs into cursor, you need to have the Figma desktop app open and also the select frame, you know, so you cannot use something else or design in Figma in another window and have that selected, but you need to have the same frame open because it, I don't know, it creates somehow a connection and then it's easier to use. Now we see that we got a document index.html. Now I will create the CSS file with the styling to match the Figma design. And automatically it creates the index here on the left side, so without a folder, but we will also, once it stops, we will instruct the cursor to put both files in a folder. Please place both files into the folder called regions MCP. So we will know which one is the second one because I already have one component, the one that I showed you before. Okay, now we can accept both files and now we will instruct cursor just to do this. Oh, it's not all the files all the files into the folder okay it will also create a script because script is needed to have the interactive and expandable continent okay now all the files are ready also script.js and we also have some feedback perfect i've successfully created a complete interactive region settings component Okay, and just before I show you what to do next, let's put everything into the folder called regions MCP. Whenever change is needed, it will ask you what to do now, you know, so you can run the script. Now we have a folder on the left side. We have index.html, we have script.js, and we also have styles. So now if I click on these files, I can see the code here. Also, if I click on the styles CSS, I can see my names of the variables I'm using and also everything else. So title, you know, label, etc. Button control. I mean, some of the names he just added. Okay, but let's check how it looks like. to do this. I just click on open with live server. Let's click. Okay, if we compare the design and the interactive prototypes, it looks quite similar. Maybe the paddings are a bit off and also the icons are different because I'm using font awesome in Figma, but here is something else. Also, as you can see, the logic is different. So if I click on a continent, the icon on the left side is pointing on the right. So this is not what I wanted to do. And okay, we also have some toast here the numbers are also working now let's try if i click on base you know nothing happens here if i click on plus on the continent also nothing happens and if i click on each specific continent i don't have anything in i just have the countries from europe because these were also defined in design but of course we want this to be usable and search also doesn't work. So what I want to do is that if I write Vienna, I get Vienna, you know, and if I click on base and this will be colored. Also, if I click on the plus button on Europe, you know, every country from Europe will be selected. So how to do this, we will go back to the cursor and add some instructions. Okay, so what I want to do now is write additional requests for prototype behavior. So we said that we want to populate each continent with realistic sample data, so it will look real. Make the plus buttons next to each country clickable, again, and turn them to green. Make the base batch interactive, it's not just there has to be clickable and then it has to turn blue and also we want the plus button to change to check mark icon enable search functionality for country so it will look real and when a user clicks on specific continent the order of country should remain unchanged because right now as you can see when i clicked on specific continent it changed okay and that's it now we just press enter 
and it will start regenerating our files. Let's see, it's generating, it usually takes some time. Planning next moves, the user wants me to enhance the existing component with more realistic data and additional interactive functionality. Okay, now it will start working on it. Now it's changing the index HTML. Okay, it takes some time, but as you can see, we have a lot of changes here. We accept the file and it's the same for styles. We accept the changes and then everything should be also changed in on the file. Okay, and we also have the feedback. It enhanced features completed, so realistic sample data, which countries were added for each continent. We have the interactive plus button icons, we have the interactive base badges and enhanced search functionality, preserved country order, additional enhancement, smart counter updates, improved visual feedback, what's going on, enhanced control buttons and now also how to use it. So let's go and check what happened with our file. Okay, so let's try the search functionality first. Okay, Vienna and we have this region here. Base batch works. Also, if I deselect this we can see that all this are clickable. Okay, North America, it has some sample country, Africa, Asia. But as you can see, the order is still changing, you know. So if I click Africa, it goes, if I close it, it goes on the bottom. So all these things should be updated. And if I would instruct cursor more, it will actually change the things that I want to. But as, as you can see, the process is pretty obvious. You just have to instruct it with wherever you want and you have to give him a lot of context so it's easier. But based on the design that showed you in the start and what we got out of it, it looks way better than just using the prototypes in Figma or any other tool that I tried out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe for getting more of these bite-sized workflows. So see you.